It is a beautiful sunrise and the temperatures are going to rise into the double digits and the wind chill I think is going to die back around noon. I get to let my birds out. They were only locked up for one full day because yesterday the sun came out and the wind died down and I wouldn't let them out. I put them away early though instead of the regular time and they were not happy. And it was hard. I knew that was going to be a problem. Yeah, snacks for chickens. I need to move that out of my way because I'm doing plants. It's too early to let them out so it's a good time to water plants. These baskets don't get watered that much. They have to be watered and soaked for a few minutes. I'd say like 10, 15, until I can put my finger in there and feel that they're good and wet. Like it doesn't feel soaked in wet. It feels wet, like puddled wet is what it feels like. So because they get so dried out, they have to be soaked to get a good, so that the soil's holding moisture. I'll do that with all the pots. I don't know how many I have, but enough to fill up my morning. I still have to take those down, and I'm going to put those hanging pots here instead of these, which, you know, are also hanging, but they hang up higher, and this is already growing into it. So this plant has to be moved. It's a bromeloid air plant. I've seen those in the wild in southern Florida. They're way up in the uh, Everglades, up high, places where I would not go. There's dangerous things in the Everglades. But I kept looking, I'm in, looking at them in the trees thinking, boy, I wish I could get up there and get me some. But I didn't. Okay, so I'm going to take that down. I have to find a new spot for it. So these passion flower, passion flower vines are connecting to everything. This one, this one grew right through that basket. So I'm gonna have to pull it out when I pull that down. This purple heart, I'm gonna pull out. And I'm going to trim off this excess. Looks terrible. I just need to take a better look at it. So I need to clean out this bottom. The dried up dead foliage needs to come out. And some of this excess needs to be cut off. Look at this purple heart next to the wandering Jew. They both have purple. The wandering juice purples and under the leaves. This one's less purple, but I can still see the purple hues. There you go. It's showing up. So I did cut back. I'm going to put these in water. These are not going to be potted, though, because... As you can see by my hoard here, I have more plants than I can handle. So I'll root those, but those will be saved for the outside garden. Hi, doggies. Dog, dog, doggy.
Okay guys, we're not completely back to normal yet. All I did was open the door. Your food and water is still inside the house. I don't know if I want to use this yet. It'll just freeze, right? Maybe later, maybe tomorrow. Okay, I'm gonna go take care of ducks.
Yeah, it's probably warmer out there than it is in here. Let's go see. drain so I think we're through the worst of it as far as lack of sun goes right days are getting longer sun's getting stronger I think I'm still going to be taking leaves off for a little while but it's it's almost over I know January February ish the house plants start coming back and the greenhouse does start looking better too. Using my scissors a lot today. Try out between watering. This shelf got scooted back a little bit. Got it filled back up. The hanging baskets ended up hanging on the shelf. I started this project before the sun came up and it is now almost two o'clock and boy did it need it Checking over a light that I don't have plugged back in yet Much better. 